was started back in 2012 as a way for me to be able to educate people about wildlife and conservation. Um, it started off with my spokes turtle, Mona Lisa. People are just so fascinated by wildlife, but by turtles specifically. And I do have quite a bit of a background working with turtles and in herpetology. Mona Lisa, who wants her moment in the spotlight apparently, is a red-eared slider, which is often known as the pet trade turtle or the pet store turtle because they're often the ones that you find in pet stores. Now, Mona Lisa, I think, is about 16 years old, although it's not possible to tell her age at this time. And I've had her for about five or six years now. She is fully grown. People don't realize just how big they'll get and also how long they'll live. Red-eared sliders generally in captivity live 40 to 50 years, which is quite, quite a long time. Mona Lisa actually was given to my cousin as a birthday present quite a few years ago. And at that time, nobody in my family knew really how to take care of a turtle. After I started working with turtles, I realized that she was actually being kept in an aquarium that was way too small for her size. Now, my family was doing the best they could with what they thought was right at the time, um, but unfortunately her tank was just very, very small. And they kept saying that they were going to take her out to camp and release her in the lake. And of course I realized, no, we can't have that. I will take her and I will make sure to put her in a nice large tank. She's got her heater and her light and her filter. And she's got a nice big rock that she can climb out and bask on. And she's got lots of space. And many people don't realize that when you have a pet turtle, they do continue to grow. And they do need ever-growing environments. What I always recommend to people, if you do want to get a pet turtle, is that there are plenty of red-eared slider rescue facilities here in Ontario and even around Sudbury where you can go and adopt an adult red-eared slider. As I mentioned earlier, they do live to be about 40 or 50 years. And so even if you come across one that's 20 or 30 years old, you'll still get lots and lots of time. Wild at Heart is a wildlife refuge center located in Lively. We provide quality veterinary care to Northern Ontario sick, injured, and orphan wildlife with the goal of releasing them back into the wild. Wild at Heart also provides education outreach to the community through education workshops, educational videos, informative articles, and our internationally renowned animal care internship program. few years ago I worked for another organization that we dealt with ecosystem and wildlife a little bit and so I had heard about Wild at Heart then and that it was a great place to bring any injured animals that you may come across and then in 2012 when I started Critical Critters I recognized the importance of building a relationship with Wild at Heart because both Critical Critters and Wild at Heart strive to educate the public about wildlife and conservation in ways that people can help nature and to me that was just so important and Educating the public is something that I think anybody who's involved with wildlife needs to partner together and to be able to do. 